We are in luck. There's another one. Mud crabs are big. This one would be close to a kilogram. Oh, that's nice, man. Look at These that. These guys are like the crayfish of the top end. Sweet, delicate, and delicious. Larrakeer country with Daniel and Marlon Motlop and today we're cooking mud crab. Now we've got in front of us a heap of ingredients we're going to include. What's this? It's a bit of tamarind paste. We've collected over the last couple of days from, from a few tamarind trees up here. Tamarind paste in the tamarind tree was introduced by the Macassan traders um, way, way back um, when they were, you know, searching the shores, searching our coastlines for tree pang or sea cucumbers, which was a delicacy back in the day. And the most important ingredients? Bit of chilli, yeah, we've got a bit of chilli. So the chilli's up here traditionally are pretty hot and a lot of Darwin families use a lot of chilli, ginger, garlic. They're sort of the main ingredients that you use. Well, the more we talk about it, the more hungry I'm becoming. So let's get into it, eh? Sounds good to me. So Marlon's just cleaning the crab and we'll just give it a little crack. We don't want to do too much. We just want a bit of um, juice to be able to get in there. Now we're going to go with some oil, nice hot pan. Ginger and garlic, get that in there. Be nice and generous with it. It's really where your flavour is. I'm going to go with our red onion next. Lemongrass, tomato and capsicum. It smells beautiful. All right, now we're going to go with a bit of fish sauce. Some sweet chilli. A bit of that sugar's gonna go in there. And we're gonna add our tamarind as well. Some really nice flavour to our dish. You look at a lot of the dishes that our families, our aunties, uncles, parents, cooked back in the day and still cook now, you know, you could get away with cooking them and, and buying your stuff for 10 to $12, um, and they'll feed a family of, you know, 10 to, 10 to 12. Our people, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, have big families. We right. do, that is right. A lot of cousins, eh? A lot of cousins to feed. We're gonna get the mud crab in. I'll let you do the honours on that, Rilla. Just chuck it in a bit like yep, this. Straight in. Beautiful. Give it a bit of a toss just to get those hot flavours. Next up, we're going to add a little bit of chilli, green and red. I'm going to chuck a bit of basil on there. I'm just going to let it sizzle away. It smells unbelievable. That was like the top end, top end tucker. When that balls turn orange, you know, you sort of know that they're really ready. Now, for the taste test, Rella, this is probably the best bit. You know, the claws are really nice. You know, there's a lot of meat in them like that. Brother, that's worth five days in the rain right there, eh? How good is that? Good stuff, eh? It's reward for effort. And there's only one way to eat it. Messy. Beautiful. Tastes like the top end, eh? Out of 10? 12. 